All right, this is my update to my last video about caffeine. I quit caffeine for 30 days in that last video, and this is two years later. So if you're looking for information on that first 30 days, I'm gonna link that video in the description below. But in this, I'm just gonna talk about like the last two years and kind of what's happened. So I guess I would say if somebody said, hey, how is not drinking caffeine going? My answer would be not well. So <laughs> this is from today. Um, I had this white rock star about an hour after I woke up, about uh, like eight o'clock. And then uh, I went to the store to you know grab a few things and I just picked up this um, rock star recovery, which is <clears throat> supposed to be healthier. It do it's not like, carbonated it's like a really you could drink this in like one gulp um, opposed to this one this one it's like you know it's more like a soda um, this one has 240 milligrams of caffeine this one has i know oh 160 so less um i will say uh yeah i'm just drinking a lot of caffeine i'll kind of give the reasons to why um but yeah so this one has 240 milligrams and a lot of the times like you know you buy these uh you know two for four or three for five dollars or whatever the, the deal is. I will say a lot of the times I'll go two of these in a row. So like I'll drink, um, you know, the 240 milligrams of caffeine um, in this in this Silver Ice Rockstar. And then I'll basically like, cause I'm out, you know, I'm, I'm working, I'm out. So I'll drink this one and then I, the, I have the other one just sitting there. So I'll just crack that one open. So that's basically, it, and these used to take me a long time to drink. I can drink this in like, I mean, five minutes, which might sound like a long time to some people, you know. Uh, it takes my wife, she can't even drink one of these <laughs> in a day, so. Um, but yeah, so I'll basically like smash two of these in, um, you know, that, that's 480 milligrams of caffeine in like um, a very short amount of time, you know, maybe 20 minutes to half an hour, you know, there's, you know, just driving around and doing stuff, but, um, yeah. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with caffeine right now. Um, so, I mean, usually like I'm trying to keep it down to one 240 milligram uh, energy drink a day right now just to kind of manage, but like that only lasts about a day or two. And then it's like, and I'm drinking more than just energy drinks, you know, um, I like those Coke Zeros because it's, it's about I think like 70 to 100 milligrams of caffeine, which is kind of a lot. Like, you know, the cans, like the, the 16 ounce cans, like the same size. Um, cold brews, like, you know, if my wife's like, hey, can you pick up some, um, you know, pick something up from Starbucks? Do you want anything? And like, I'm always, yeah, like a little, you know, I'll get like a small, the small cold brew, um, three packs, three packets of stevia and light ice. So it's like, you get more if you do light ice, there's a hack for you. So yeah, I'd say like the average, it's like at least, you know, about 400 milligrams of caffeine to like seven or 800 milligrams of caffeine a day. In my last video I had gone, it was like the 30 day mark for quitting caffeine. But one thing I will say is not drinking caffeine is better than drinking caffeine. Like that's, that's one thing uh, I'll say as far as like just health benefits, mental health benefits um the way i would describe it is like when i started drinking caffeine again after not for whatever extended amount of time is like i noticed what it felt like is it, is it felt like there was less room in my mind there was less room in my brain i felt like my thoughts were kind of like you know against each other there was no like space between my thoughts and like thinking it just felt like my brain was more full more cluttered um, and yeah, I just felt like there was no headspace, I guess I would say. And with that comes anxiety, uh, depression, um, you know, and like, once again, I'm not like a scientist, I'm not a doctor. Uh, I, I know nothing. So everything I'm saying, I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just saying how I feel or felt. Um, but like with these energy drinks and a lot of, you know, a lot of things, it's when you put it. When you put it in your stomach, it destroys bacteria. Um, and one thing I know is like, you know, in your stomach controls your mind. So when you're destroying these good bacteria, um, it's hard to stay mentally stable. I would say um, anxiety is up. Um, 
in my last video, I talk about like how, you know, when I was, was not drinking caffeine, I would actually, you know, after you get over the slump, you wake up in the morning feeling energized, like sleep did its work. Like, you know, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to wake up feeling good and energized. And as the day goes on, you're supposed to, you know, get more tired, you, you know, lose your energy and then be able to sleep. And um, what caffeine does from my understanding, once again, not a scientist, is it blocks those receptors in your brain that are telling your body that you're tired. You know, it's like taking painkiller. It's like the injury is still there, but you just can't, you can't feel it. I do feel like I'm having some um, like adrenal issues. Uh, the only thing I know is what I've researched on like YouTube and, and heard on like podcasts. It's like, you know, when too much caffeine, you, you mess up your adrenal glands. Um, there's like things about like fat storage and, and insulin and, and cortisol, your body can't make cortisol, but I'll let you do your own research on that. I don't know enough about that to talk about um, anything scientific. I don't feel great uh, between anxiety and um, I would say like a, a lot of like uh, sleep issues. It's basically all issues from caffeine are back, like the adrenal issues, uh, the anxiety, um, you know, sort of, uh, less of a fuse in situations and you know i know people are gonna say like you know why don't you just stop again and you know these might sound like excuses but um th this is why it it's basically because i have to get shit done <laughs> i have to get shit done uh I have three kids one on the way and it's like uh when i quit i probably you know quit caffeine um 50 times and like God, the first like few days and it just it just shuts you down like I don't you know I just don't feel like I have time right now to even stop and you know that is an excuse and there is a way to do it but uh, like it shuts you down and like uh, the feeling of stopping caffeine is uh, oof. yeah it's like I just have you know I, I've got we all have bills to pay um, I've got kids to take care of uh, wife to take care of and so it's just like I I can't even basically like anything more than like one day it's like you know i have too much responsibility to be you know shut down and this is basically the i think the biggest reason why i am back on caffeine like so uh i kind of just you know back to where i was but um so i quit drinking alcohol and that was um man it's been over six months it's it's been a long time I'm not sure. It was like sometime in December and it was because I found out my wife or my wife and I found out that we were having another baby and like I just I've always grabbed like tried to grab onto reasons to stop drinking because it's so bad <laughs> like for for people like me who you know have have some some issues it's like you know a lot of people should never drink and I'm one of them and so when I can grab onto like a reason I know she wasn't she wasn't gonna drink obviously she can't drink at all so I can grab onto that and I can do that with her and then when she does that with me then I can actually do it. So I haven't drank in like six months. And I guess with, you know, I was already drinking caffeine, but not as much, but it, it was, the caffeine was the lesser of two evils and being able to um, eliminate one at a time. Like, I'm just like, I wish I could just be like, oh, you know, proper diet, exercise, eliminate caffeine, eliminate alcohol, um, do everything right, get rid of everything that's wrong. It's like, I gotta, I just have to do one at a time and like getting rid of alcohol. I know I have um, like anxiety issues now, sleep issues now, but it's nothing compared to when I was drinking alcohol. Like those sleep issues and those anxiety issues and those like, you know, there's a lot of way worse stuff that comes along with, um, you know, being addicted to alcohol in the same way that I am to caffeine, way, you know, way worse, so. The lesser of two evils, definitely. And the uh, not drinking alcohol video, I mean, that's, um, man, that, that needs to come out because, I mean, I'm sure you hear stories all the time, but like not drinking alcohol is, uh, it takes a long time to like relearn how to function in any situation. I mean, if you're like me, like I was drinking like just, you know, by, well, I was drinking by myself. It's, you know, a, a lot of issues. Um, long-term 
So it's like to relearn how to like be by yourself and not drink um, is way easier than learning how to relearning how to be in any sort of social situation um, and not have to drink. <laughs> like there's definitely a learning curve and it takes a long time and it takes a lot of um, just being not just taking yourselves out of those situations, you know, don't have any alcohol or whatever you're trying to quit. Don't have that around you. Um, don't go to uh, your friend's social event that's at a bar or at a house where everybody's just drinking. And, it, you know, um, I had a situation where I did go to something like that and I was just like, people didn't know who I was. They didn't recognize me because I would not, I, I just, I couldn't drink, but I was very angry, <laughs> I guess I would say. Uh, people, you know, it, people just, you know, there's another side. Um, and I just had to get out of that situation. So there you have it. Side effects from caffeine, uh, all back, you know, all the, all the bad stuff is back. Not nearly as bad as uh, effects of alcohol. So like I said, you know, controlling one thing at a time. I do plan on quitting caffeine again, and I say it all the time. And like, it's funny, like my thing I tell my wife all the time, it's like, uh, our kids wake us up all the time. God, they're sick all the time. Um, I'm a very light sleeper and it's just always like, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna quit caffeine. I wake up the next day and I said, I'm gonna quit caffeine, but like not today, like this is not the, the day. So when there is a day that I wake up and, and like I have enough, um, you know, I guess I'm just gonna have to feel it. I don't know. And like, I just kind of grab onto that when it comes. And then, you know, one thing that's helped me with other things is like, you know, just, okay, so I'll stop drinking caffeine or whatever for today. And I'll, and then, I, you know, one more day after that. And then you gotta like, I know it sounds <laughs> pretty 12 step, but it's like one day at a time. So, you know, grab onto the next. It's like, you know, working out. It's like, I, I, I can't do like 20 reps, but I can do one more and then, you know, one more and then one more. So that's basically it. Caffeine, it's fucking everything up right now. Um, not nearly as much as alcohol is fucking everything up. So alcohol, I feel like I've got a good grab on it. Um, but I, I went two years, uh, like, you know, five or six years ago without drinking at all. And, you know, and then I think it took one, one drink to like reignite like all that. And like, I don't know if I'm an alcoholic, you know, I probably, I don't know, but, um, yeah. I think I'm on everything alcoholic. Like I start like I mean caffeine. I, it's it's so weird because like you tell people that you're addicted to caffeine or caffeine's a problem and they don't even know what you're talking about. But there's just some personality types that um, you know have those addictive qualities. So um, hopefully, like the next kind of video you see like this is where I've made the choice. Um, I was thinking about putting it out on like a TikTok, like a daily thing where I'm not drinking caffeine because. Like just sort of having like other people, you know, kind of with eyes on it, you know, maybe they, they can do it too, where it's like, um, you know, I have somebody that's kind of holding me accountable uh, to not do that. Like, fuck, it's like, I have so much shit to do. Fuck, all I do is work. All I do is work and drive kids from place to place, like sports and whatever they have to do. And um, I'm trying not to worry about like money and shit. <laughs> and, but yeah, we'll get it, we'll get it, you know. Everything is better without caffeine, I'll tell you right now, so.